Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is jam-packed with cleaning and organizing motivation, but we're going to start off with the cleaning because I know some of you guys are only here for that and I wanted to give it to you first. But before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd really love to have you join my little YouTube fam, but let's get on into the cleaning. So today we're cleaning my living room and I wanted to start off by giving everything a quick wipe down because I noticed things were getting pretty dusty so I wanted to go ahead and take care of that first and I'm going to be using my Method All Purpose Cleaner in the lavender scent to do that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these blankets and pillows off of the couch because I'm going to go ahead and take all of the cushions off and vacuum underneath of them. And if you're wondering why my one cushion doesn't have a cover on it, it's because I had to wash it last night. We had an accident on it and it really, when I lifted that cushion up to take it off, I really noticed how dirty it was underneath of there. So that's why I'm even cleaning it today. So you're probably thinking that my couch is disgusting or maybe yours looks just like this when you take the cushions off. I don't know, but I have two toddlers and I do allow them to snack in the living room on the couch. So it's my fault and I really can't complain about it. But to get all these crumbs up, I'm going to be using my Dyson V7 and I love this vacuum and I especially love it for jobs like this because it's lightweight, it has all these extra attachments and it's easy to use and it does a very, very good job. So if you're in the market for a cordless lightweight vacuum, you should definitely check out this one. There's a link for it down in my description box. So I wanted to take a second and just introduce myself and welcome anyone that's new, anyone that's here for the very first time. My name is Sheila. I'm a Mary stay-at-home mama to three living in Maryland. On my channel, you're going to find a lot of cleaning and a lot of organizing. So if you're into that kind of stuff, this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring your notification bell so that you're notified whenever I do upload. Um, I typically upload about twice a week, so that way you won't miss a single video. So you may have been wondering why I didn't take the time to clean the rest of the cushions when I had to wash this one. And this is the reason why. They are an absolute pain in the butt to get back on. And I'm always so scared that I'm going to ruin them because they have loose strings inside. Um, but yeah, that's why. Okay, you guys, so my couch totally just eats toys. Like, they 
just get lost under this couch so quickly. Um, and they stay there until I get fed up enough to move the couch out of the way. And let me just be honest for a second, the only reason I'm even doing this is because we got a bunny yesterday and once we took the bunny out of the cage, it went directly under the couch. So we had to move a portion of the couch in order to get the bunny out and I noticed how dirty it was underneath of it. And instead of cleaning it up right then, in true YouTuber fashion, I figured I would just film it the next day. So here we are. I just have a bowl of hot soapy water I wanted to clean the floors but I also wanted to clean the baseboards and the wall behind the couch so instead of pulling my mop out to do the floors and then going back and doing the walls and the baseboards I decided to do them both at the same time so that's what you see me doing here So if you guys check out my description box, you're going to find a link to my Instagram page. I would love for you to use that link and go over there and give me a follow. I share more of our daily lives, cleaning motivation, what's for dinners, um, all kinds of good stuff with you guys over there. And I really feel like we can connect more over there than we really can on YouTube. So make sure when you're done here, you go over there and give me a follow also. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding. Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back Maybe you'll make up So here I'm just moving the rug stickers back Cause I ended up moving the rug back probably about like six inches So I needed to go ahead and move these as well To keep the corner of our rugs down I wanted to put them on all corners because I currently only have them on that one, but I couldn't find the bag that I keep them in, so I guess I'll have to do that the next time I move my couch. And now we're on to the organizing portion of the video, and this closet, you guys, is a small linen closet in my hallway, and it's so bad. It's like a Monica's closet. I have everything just jam-packed in here and this started only probably like a month month and a half ago i started just shoving blankets in here because they were driving me nuts the boys would pull them out everywhere and I, it was just too much for me to handle so i just would shove them in there and forget about them and before i knew it this little closet was jam-packed with so much stuff um, and i'm just gonna empty it all out and move it into my bedroom just to give me more space to be able to organize it all and you're gonna see in a second just how much stuff was actually jam-packed in this closet. And while everything's out of the closet, I wanted to take the time and go ahead and clean off all these shelves. Um, right here, I was trying to scrub up a paint spill. It was just like Crayola washable paint, but I was having a lot of trouble getting it up and you will see later on that I do end up getting the whole stain up, which I was really happy about. And then the floor in this closet, you guys, was pretty gross. Like there was crumbs in this closet. I don't know how crumbs would get in here, but they did. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned up also. can you believe that i was able to shove all of this stuff into that tiny tiny linen closet it completely just blows my mind but i wanted to first start by taking care of these blankets 
So I'm gonna fold them and put them in vacuum seal bags and then store, store them underneath of our bed. That's how I decided I needed to store them because I don't have any place else to put them in the house and I refuse to get rid of them. Some of them were especially made for us and mean a lot. Others I just love and refuse to get rid of because I have an obsession with soft blankets. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put them in vacuum seal bags and store them under there until we decide we wanna use them. So on this thing, I was storing all of our crib sheets and our sheets for our bed and just some random extension cords, but I decided I wanted to use this thing for all the boys like arts and crafts stuff, their coloring books, puzzles, stuff like that, just so it's in a closet and away from them, but easy for me to pull out and use during the day because we do like to use this stuff quite often and it was just a mess in the closet before so I would tend to not pull it out because it was just harder to get to um, but in here I'm hoping I'll be able to pull it out more often for them but I want to go ahead and organize these sheets into these Dollar Tree bins um, anyone else have a heck of a time folding a fitted sheet so I just roll them um, but I'm rolling our sheets and putting them in here and then the crib sheets in one and pillowcases in another one and then those two sheets are, the, are just ones that we use when we do do crafts, like painting and stuff. I just put it over the table so the table doesn't get any paint on it. And here I'm just going to organize um, some new crayons and chalk that I got the boys. So they fight over everything if I don't have two of it. So I decided to get two of the same pencil boxes with the same chalk and the same crowns in it in hopes that they won't fight over it so much.
So here I'm just having a really hard time deciding how I want it to store and organize all of their coloring books and art papers and stuff because I really wanted to use this orange organizer but I ended up not using it for this and using it for those random extension cords instead. And now it's time to put everything back. I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the before shot of the closet just so you can easily compare it to the after. And I'm telling you guys, it's a huge transformation. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and organize Brayden's dresser first, and then we're gonna do Dalton's also. I've been needing to do this for so long, and I've been putting it off, especially Brayden's, because he likes to go into his um, dresser and pull something out, but in the meantime, he pulls everything out with it, and it just makes a mess and drives me nuts. So I don't even see the point in folding his clothes sometimes, but we're gonna do this now. And I was gonna try to do the Kamari style folding but I wasn't very good at it I did kind of do his pants like that I think because I did stand them up in his dresser um, I don't think I folded them exactly correctly but I do like the pants folded like that um, the shirts I didn't even attempt to do it because I was sure that I wasn't going to be able to So as I'm refolding all of his clothes, I'm also going through the sizes to make sure that everything in there fits him. He did still have some 3T clothes in his dresser, mainly just shirts because he does still fit in some of them, but I'm gonna just go ahead and take all of the 3T out because he is currently in a 4T, but quickly moving into a 5T, especially in his pants. So I know for summer clothes and spring clothes, I'm gonna have to get him um, 5T for sure, which really makes me sad. He's growing so fast. But I'm going to take those three T's and put them away for Dalton when he gets into that size. So I'm curious to know how you guys are doing, how you're distracting yourself and keeping yourself sane through this quarantine and all this uncertainty going on right now. Um, I know for us personally, through the week, we've been, me and the boys, just been taking a couple rides, probably like twice a week through the back roads because we do live in the country to check out some farm animals and just really to get out of the house for a half hour or so really does us so much good. Um, but life in general really hasn't changed too, too much for us. I mean, the boys are home with me as usual, and my husband is working full time still. Um, I'm very grateful that he's able to work and support us, but it's bittersweet because it's scary. I wouldn't want him to catch this virus or bring it back to us because uh, Brayden does have type 1 diabetes, and it's really scary if he gets this. I'm worried that his immune system wouldn't be able to fight it off because it is weekend. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing and if you have any suggestions on things to do or distractions, anything like that. You knocked on my window and slept on my pillow, then said you 
So now I'm moving on to Dalton's clothes. I'm gonna do the same thing with his. So as I fold them, I'm gonna go through the sizes and throw anything to the side that doesn't fit him anymore. He is in a 2T, really just getting into a 2T. Um, he's a small little guy, which is really strange to me because Brayden's always been big for his age. Like he was in a 2T when he turned one years old and Dalton will be two in May and is just fitting into a 2T and some of them are still big on him. He's just a little guy or maybe he's a normal size but I feel like he's little because Brayden's always been so big um, but yeah that's what I'm doing here. So the drawer that I keep Dalton's pajamas in is such a big drawer that I thought if I used these organizers, maybe I could knock down on the mess and keep everything a little bit more organized in there. So we're going to give that a shot. And I also wanted to mention that uh, the boys did have a good amount of clothes that were dirty this day. I was currently doing laundry. So just keep in mind that this isn't all of their clothes um, and I will put those in there once they're clean. We're slowing up high, got no clue. How do I know what I mean to you? Yeah. Say it out loud, spill the truth. Tell me how I'm gonna get close to you. Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make a scene. Working on our body language, working on our body language. guys so that is it for today's video i really hope that you enjoyed this one and it gave you some motivation if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on i will catch you guys in my next video have a great day bye High and low, in between, acting out.